Hi everyone, by the end of this class you will be able to compare and express similarities about houses and apartments. Additionally, you will be able to express similarities about your house and your neighbor's house. For example, you'll be able to make the following comparisons. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. In this class, we're going to learn how to make comparisons with adjectives. And we're also going to learn how to make comparisons with nouns. And what do I mean by adjectives? Well, if we look at the adjective convenient, and what do I mean by nouns? Well, if we look at the noun rooms or privacy, that's what I mean by adjectives and nouns. So let me present the formula at this time. What we want to do is we want to make sense of the comparisons that are towards the bottom. We're going to start with comparisons with adjectives. So in order for us to make sense of this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, write the same example that is there. And then we're going to make a few more to make sure that we understand the topic. So first of all, we're going to have some sort of subject. This is going to be followed by the verb to be. The verb to be can be in its positive form or in its negative form. And it will, then it will be followed by as, the adjective, and as. So a quick example, houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Towards the end, you will include whatever it is that you're comparing your subject with. So in this case, I'm comparing houses versus apartments. Now let me give another example. What I want to do now is I'm going to choose a different subject. So in this case, I'm going to say apartments. And what I'm going to say, I'm going to continue to make negative statements there. Apartments aren't as, and I'm going to say expensive as houses. Apartments aren't as quiet as houses. And you can say apartments aren't as, and I'll use the adjective here, spacious as houses. What I would like to do now is explain how to express similarities. That means that they are the same or almost the same. And that's our last example there. Houses are just as convenient as apartments. That opinion means that they are the same. So I want you to take a look at that example. Apartments, that's going to follow the verb to be in its positive form. And then it's going to follow as or just as. Okay. Actually, um, you can either say just as or you can simply say as. And, and both will be the correct way of expressing it. So we can say apartments are just as expensive as houses. And that's my personal opinion, right? Or you can simply say apartments are as expensive as houses. And you can use any adjective to compare the two. You can say apartments are as quiet as houses. Apartments are as spacious as houses. Apartments are as convenient, just like we see the example there, right? as houses. And so remember that this kind of things, you're making comparisons. So maybe in your area, apartments are the same as houses. So they cost the same. You know, they are as big as houses. Uh, apartments are as convenient as houses, etc. Usually that's not the case. Usually there are big differences among houses and apartments. But in this case, we're saying that they are the same. What I would like to do now is to show you how to make comparisons. But this time, I'm going to show you how to make comparisons with nouns. And what do I mean by nouns? Well, when we talk about nouns in the context of comparing houses and apartments, we can think of things like rooms, privacy, bedrooms, bathrooms, kitchens, anything that has to do with what's inside of a house or outside of a house. Those are nouns, if you will. And what I would like to do is to propose this formula that you see towards the bottom in order for us to make sense of this 
comparison here on the top. So first of all, we're going to have some sort of subject. So in this case, as you can see, apartments is um, our uh, subject there. I'm going to go ahead and make this small because I want it to fit on the screen. So apartments, that follows the verb. The verb can be in its, po in its positive form or in its negative form. And then we're going to include as or just as, as you can see there. And after that, you will include many plus account now. So I want you to pay attention to that real fast. We're going to have many plus account now. And what do we mean by count nouns? Well, count nouns are those things that you can easily count. If you recall the previous lesson that we saw where we talked about count nouns and non-count nouns, we said that count nouns are those things that you can easily count. Or this will follow much plus a non-count noun. So I want you to look at that for a moment now. And what do we mean by non-count? Well, again, Recalling the previous lesson that we saw, we learned that non-count nouns are those things that are difficult to count. And then it's going to follow as plus some sort of noun. So let me write the example here. Apartments have as many rooms as houses. And then we'll take that last example there. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. In our first example, we're saying that they are pretty much the same, so they're quite similar. In our second example, we are saying that there's a difference between houses and apartments, and that is that apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. And then again, you can make many different comparisons between houses and apartments. What else can you say? Well, you can say that apartments don't have as many windows as houses. That might be the case. You can say that apartments don't have as much space as houses. Finally, the last thing that I would like for you to do is to practice these concepts that we have learned. And I want you to make the comparison between your house and your neighbor's house. I want you to use nouns and adjectives to compare your house and your neighbor's house. So just a little help here, you can you can use the adjectives that I'm proposing here, such as comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, bright, expensive, huge. And if you want to use those adjectives when you can use this formula, right? Like for example, you can say, my house isn't as expensive as my neighbor's house. Or it could be the other way around. For example, you can say my neighbor's house isn't as expensive as my house. At the same time, you also want to make comparisons with nouns. For example, you can say my house doesn't cost as much money as my neighbor's house. Or again, it could be the other way around. You can, you can say my neighbor's house doesn't cost as much money as my house.